And for Off the Block, I'm Vane Lips, and we are now joined by the new head coach of the IPFW men's volleyball team. And Rock, the announcement was made last week. What has this past week been like for you, knowing that starting next season, or you're going to be the new coach of IPFW? Well, for me personally, it hasn't sunk in yet. Uh, I tell everybody that it probably won't sink in until the fall when we get started with uh, our preseason training. Uh, but the last week, it's been crazy personally for me. Uh, I've had uh, just umpteen number of, of voicemails and text messages and emails, uh, Facebook notes about uh, the hiring of me as the new head coach, and I haven't even been a judge, really, but in, in any of those messages, uh, and I'm so grateful to everyone who has sent me a message, like a good graduatory note um, of me being that coach. It's actually been crazy, mostly for me, uh, in regards to the announcement being made a week ago by a that I would become a new head coach. Yeah. So, you know... People throughout the volleyball community know Coach Ball's kind of coaching style, you know, his demeanor, you know, in matches. You know, how would your kind of um, demeanor and coaching style compare to Coach Ball's? Well, I'm not going to come there. I've been a bunch of bash, obviously, the last 12 years. Uh, I feel like I'm not going to be that coach that people are used to seeing in been a long time assistant for Coach Ball. What's been the biggest thing that you've been able to learn from him in your, you know, decade plus being on his coaching staff? Well, the biggest thing is that man knows much more than that else. Uh, the one thing that I think the greatest thing that I'm going to miss, uh, you know, acting on a daily basis with Coach Ball is our conversations, our daily conversations. And it may start out in bad but it expands into a much broader term. And it's more about the life uh, conversations that we've had over the years. And that's what I'm going to really miss the most. And, and, and the thing that I'm going to take away, I guess the two things. Number one is the fact that volleyball and coaching volleyball is much more bigger than X's and O's. It's much more than that. And number two, it's that servant. Uh, I'm in a place now uh, of that serving. Uh, serving the community and serving the athletic department at IPFW and serving the institution at IPFW and also serving our student athletes. And so it's a, it's a great responsibility, it's a big responsibility, it's a responsibility I'm happy to take over uh, Coach Ball and uh, it's something that I will cherish and hold dear. Yeah. And it's such a unique relationship for those who have never been to Fort Wayne to kind of see the relationship between the IPFW men's volleyball team and and the Fort Wayne community. I know I got to experience that when I was there for my year or two. But, you know, from you, can you just tell maybe what an outsider what that relationship is like? Well, volleyball is what it is in Fort Wayne because of Coach Paul, uh, hands down. And not only do we have arguably the uh, greatest fans in terms of volleyball in Fort Wayne, Indiana. They're really understanding. They're very caring, but more importantly, they're still supportive of our men's volleyball program. And actually, our women's volleyball program, to be honest with you, too, and I mean, because Coach Paul used to coach them as well in the 80s. So uh, the relationship is very, very special. Uh, Coach Paul built it uh, back in starting in 81 uh, with the men's and women's team, and then slowly with the men's team when it took over uh, in the early 90s. Uh, the people uh, in the community, as well as the institution over the last 34 years that has been at the FW, have just been tremendous, Benny, just tremendous for their support of uh, volleyball. And as I say, they're, they're the greatest fans in my opinion in all of the United States, uh, because not only the understanding of the game, caring of the game, passionate about the game, and the players that have gone through 
And looking at, you know, um, 2016 and um, even beyond that, 2017, 2018, for you in terms of recruiting, I know we can't get into the specific players you'd be going after, but what's the type of volleyball player that you're hoping to bring to Fort Wayne? Uh, Two-fold, I think. Number one, uh, work ethic. Uh, I think that's going to increase. Uh, I think that's going to increase. Number two, uh, I think that's going to increase. If you took a look at... Women and Lewis, the two teams that were in the finals this year, and especially with uh, Ola, winning back to back national championships, athleticism uh, is the key to their success and still follows. And if you can combine them or combine that with speed, and now you're invincible. And that's been, been the secret of success for Ola, I thought, the last two years. And when you have speed, size, and still, it's dangerous. And so, that's what we're looking for to bring in. And kids with really good work ethics, kids that want to be a part of our program and the great tradition that uh, Coach Ball uh, has created. And I think that it, along with the athleticism necessary to play at the very, very highest level in this country. And looking at your team for next season, you know, obviously this year you guys were able to finish in the top four of the MIVA, but you're losing a couple starters. What are your expectations for next year's team? Well, not just a couple starters. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're losing three <laughs> key starters. Yeah. Uh, our center and two middles. Uh, and then we lose uh, our center and our center. question and you know, I just want to get an overall sense and view from you because you've been in the MIVA for so long you know you kind of look at the conference now you know just how much better has the conference gotten from you know maybe 10 years ago when you just look at the depth that it has in the amount of teams I remember two years ago saying the parity in our conference now is greater than it's ever been and after this past season in 2015 there's been a question in my mind that the parity in our conference, the caliber of play in our conference, unreal. It's off the charts. You can any team can beat anybody on any given night. Uh, you've got to be able to bring your A game. And what's happening now, Vinny, is that the shift is on. The shift being the fact that now not only are we competing with teams out of our conference, the Penn States, the George Masons, the Harvards, the Princeton out east, while we're also competing and beating teams from the NPSF. Yeah. And so the parity now across the board in volleyball has gotten so much better. The talent has gotten better. Therefore, the play has gotten better. And so it has made for a very, very interesting volleyball landscape across the United States collegiately at the Division One, Division Two level. Uh, and, and it's only going to get better when you take a look at the FIBA in particular. From number one to number nine, anybody can beat anybody on any given night. And the talent 
that play is only getting 